Hello everyone, welcome back to Genius Tutorial. So in this session, we are going to discuss everything in detail regarding this PGDB exam. PGDB 2023 specifically. Because many students are asking about a journal session uh, as they want to know everything in detail regarding this exam, this exam pattern, exam syllabus, different uh, weightages given to your academics, your work ex, your written exam, person interview. So we are going to discuss everything in detail in this session. So if you are uh, an aspirant taking this exam for the first time, it's better if you stay tuned till the end of session so that you will have all details hain, sari clear ho regarding each and every aspect of this PGDB exam. So as we know this exam was started by uh, three most reputed institute of our country, I am Calcutta, IIT Kharagpur and ISI Kolkata since 2015. So jointly these uh, three institutes conduct this program. Ko. Semester wise divided, hai. first semester at ISI Kolkata, second at IIT Kharagpur and third at IIM Calcutta. Fourth semester you have industrial training hai, where you go for live projects by different organizations. And uh, this is how the structure of a program is, structure of course is decided. Application fees, regarding this application fees, 2500 is the application fees for open category and for the special categories, scheduled cast, scheduled rights and person with disability, 1250. Course fees, 24 lakhs, it is a big amount, but still it is worth. Number of seats, 63 sanctioned seats are there. And it can increase in coming years. In last two years also, there was a rumor that a number of seats may increase uh, that year. But due to COVID, as you know, COVID may kafi thoda in ke number of uh, seats ke baare mein rumors rahe bhi hain. And uh, it may increase in our coming year. But as of now, we can say that uh, as of now, we have 63 sanctioned seats for this PGDB exam. So that's the fight for uh, PGDB exam. Number of seats are less, 63. Regarding this eligibility criteria. So eligibility criteria may, you must have a bachelor degree, but one thing which you must understand that your degree must be of four years. If you have your BSc or your BCom like this degree, which is of three years, then you are not eligible for PGDB exam. You must have at least four year degree. It can be B.Tech, it can be e, B.E, any other degree, but it must be of four years. But yes, if you have your graduation degree, uh, three year graduation degree, but if you have done masters after that, then you can be eligible for this PGDB exam. Agar aapka sirf graduation ke degree hai, then it must be of four years. But if you have graduation along with masters, then you are also eligible for this PGDB exam. For uh, marks weightage, we can say that minimum marks required for open category is 60% in your graduation or 6.5 CGPA on a 10 point scale. For category SC, ST and PWD category, the marks required are 55%. Final year students can also apply for this exam, but they have to complete their degree by end of July 2023. Age barrier koi bhi nahi hai because there are students from diverse background. Uh, students having more than 5 year work ex are also there. So there is no age barrier for appearing this PGDB exam. And there is no limits on reappearing. If you have appeared earlier then you can appear this year also. Okay. So this is regarding the PGDB eligibility criteria. Then regarding the criteria followed for the final selection. So this is very important to understand. For written exam, 45% weightage is given. For personal interview, 40%. For 12th academics, it's 8 point and 7 points for your work ex. Now if you see this criteria, what you can understand out of it? Your academics of 12th, marks, you ca uh, 12th class, you cannot change it. Your work ex, you cannot change it. The only things in your hand the main first point is your written exam. So if you are weak in any domain, what you can do, you can maximize your score in your written exams. So what I would suggest that you must start your preparation seriously from today itself and try to maximize your score in written exams. There two profits. gateway for interview. 
if you want to get selected you must clear your written exam and another thing is if you are weak in any of the other domains let's say aapka 12th ka score acha nahi hai aapka work ka points acche nahi hai so you can maximize your score in your written exam because this is the only thing which you can manage okay personal interview that is also dekho personal interview bhi utna aap strictly nahi le sakte ho jitna aap apni preparation ko le sakte ho so what i can suggest that you can maximize your score in your written exam so go for that weightage allotted to 12th mark score uh, what is the weightage allotted here if you can see if you have more than 95% marks 8 points are there 90 to 95 7 points are so this is the weightage allotted to 12th mark so let's say if you have 88% marks so the points for this will be 6 so you will get 6 marks for your 12th marks uh, 12th standard marks depending upon this weightage of 12th mark score same way you have weightage for uh, work ex also let's say you have a work ex of 2 uh, and a half years 2 and a half years it lies between 24 and 36 months that is the best range that is the best work ex considered so 7 points for this work ex so full points can be given if you lie in the range of 2 years to 3 years so this is the best domain for work ex okay and after that uh, after this criteria what is the exam pattern exam pattern mein sabse jyada weightage hai mathematics ki quantitative aptitude mathematics obviously data analytics se related hai to mathematics hi weightage zyada honi bhi chahiye and apart from this 25 marks question 25 questions from uh, quantitative aptitude we have 5 marks for data interpretation 5 for logical reasoning and 15 for verbal ability So total 50 questions are there. 25 questions are from your mathematics part. Five questions are from DI. Five are from logical reasoning, and 15 are from verbal ability test. So in total, 50 questions are there. Exam ki duration three hours ki rehti hai. Koi bhi sectional time limit nahi hai. Jaise ab baaki management entry exams se rehein. If you are appearing for CAT, if you are appearing for IFT, if you are appearing for Z, we have some sectional uh, time limit also that. for this one hour you are going to take only verbal exam on next one hour you are going to take only quants exam so there is no such time limit sectional time limit in this exam and again this is uh, paper pen exam aapka online exam nahi rahega ye aur negative marking rehti hai negative marking unattended questions ke liye nahi hai that means if you have not attempted any question in your exam uske liye koi negative marking nahi hai but yes for incorrect answer there is a negative marking for each correct answer you will get 3 marks but for a negative a negative mark for negative 1 mark for incorrect answers this is the exam pattern for this pgt exam okay what is the syllabus for verbal ability reading comprehensions para jumbles and correct uh, correction of sentences apart from this a bit idea of grammar also required वर्बल एबिलिटी लॉजिकल रीजनिंग और डाटा इंटरप्रिटेशन उतनी फाइट नहीं रहेगी इफ यू हैव अपीयर फॉर कैट एग्जाम और सम अदर मैनेजमेंट एंटर एग्जाम्स आल्सो बट यस द मेन इंपॉर्टेंट मेन टास्क इज टू कवर योर क्वांटिटेटिव स्किल्स बिकॉज दिस सिलेबस इज नॉट एज सिमिलर एज योर अदर मैनेजमेंट एंटरसेस दिस इज एंटायरली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट इसमें आपका नंबर सिस्टम अर्थमेटिक वो वाला पार्ट नहीं आता है वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड वॉट आई कैन सजेस्ट यू दैट यू मस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ योर इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ क्लास सिलेबस थॉरली इफ यू आर अ बिगनर आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू स्टार्ट विद एन सी आर टी बुक्स थॉरली कवर योर एन सी आर टी बुक्स दिस इज नॉट द ओनली थिंग यू हैव टू कवर बट फॉर बेसिक्स यू कैन स्टार्ट विद योर एन सी आर टी बुक्स कुछ पोर्शन ऐसा है जो उसके अंदर सिलेबस में नहीं है फ्रॉम एलेवेंथ क्लास व्हाट आई कैन गिव यू एन आइडिया एलेवेंथ क्लास में से आपको मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन चैप्टर नहीं करना है यू कैन स्केप दिस चैप्टर यू कैन स्केप कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर बट यू मस्ट हैव अ बिट आइडिया ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर क्योंकि कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर से रिलेटेड क्यूब रूट्स ऑफ यूनिटी इमेज आयोटा थोड़ा सा बेसिक आइडिया होना चाहिए वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट इन योर मैट्रिक डिटर्मिनेंट एंड फ्यू एल्जेब्रा चैप्टर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस statistics 
is not directly asked in your exams and mathematical reasoning तो ये सब कुछ नहीं करना है आपको एलेवेंथ क्लास के सिलेबस में से फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ क्लास यू कैन लीव दीज चैप्टर्स वैक्टर्स थ्री डी योर लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स एंड दैट्स इट सो यू कैन स्किप दीज टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम योर ट्वेल्थ एंड एलेवेंथ पोर्शन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव टू कवर ईच एंड एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम योर एलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ एन सी आर टी बुक्स once you are done with ncert then you can move on to exam level and some higher level questions also so regarding this logical reasoning and data interpretation again i'll repeat if you have appeared for uh, the other management entrance exam cat ke liye aapne appear kiya ift ke liye snap ke liye nmat ke liye kisi bhi entrance exam ke liye then you might have a bit idea of uh, uh, logical reasoning or data interpretation pie chart bar graph लॉजिकल रीजनिंग के अंदर आपको लॉजिकल कनेक्टिव सिटिंग अरेंजमेंट स्टेटमेंट कंक्लूजन के क्वेश्चन इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछे जाते हैं नॉट दैट मच डिफिकल्ट बट स्टिल यू मस्ट हैव एन आइडिया ऑफ दिस ओके बट इफ यू हैवेंट अपियर फॉर एनी मैनेजमेंट एट द एग्जाम देन येस यू हैव टू टेक दीज सेक्शन ऑल्सो वेरी सीरियसली ऑल दो फाइव फाइव मार्क्स की वेटेज है लॉजिकल रीजनिंग और डाटा इंटरटेशन की फिफ्टीन की वर्बल एबिलिटी की है बट स्टिल You have to take care of each and every question. देखो जितनी इन तीनों सेक्शन की वेटेज है उतनी अकेली मैथ्स की वेटेज है सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू सजेस्ट यू दैट टेक दिस मैथ्स सीरियसली स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी बुक्स राइट नाउ ओके सो वंस यू आर डन विद योर बेसिक्स यू कैन मूव ऑन टू हायर एग्जाम एंड हायर एग्जाम लेवल क्वेश्चन एंड वन मोर थिंग Uh, to get an idea of exam, कैसा exam है you must cover all previous year papers, पी जी डी बी ए टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन से लेकर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू तक ऑल प्रीवियस पेपर्स प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स आर अवेलेबल ऑन ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑल्सो आई गेस सो यू कैन गो थ्रू ऑल दो अगर आपके पास ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट पर नहीं है यू कैन विजिट आर वेबसाइट और यू कैन विजिट आर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप आर फेसबुक ग्रुप वहाँ सारे आपको कंटेंट उसके लिए अवेलेबल मिलता है सारे पास्ट या पेपर भी वहाँ पर अवेलेबल हैं यू कैन गो थ्रू ऑल दोज पेपर्स फ्रॉम आर फेसबुक ग्रुप ऑल्सो ठीक है एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज आर पी जी डी बी कोर्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड आर पी जी डी बी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑनलाइन कोर्स जस्ट अ फ्यू डेज बैक लास्ट वीक सो लाइव क्लासेज एंड रिकॉर्डिंग्स आर देयर यू कैन गो थ्रू ऑल दीज लाइव क्लासेज रिकॉर्डिंग्स आर अवेलेबल Live classes are usually scheduled at night around 9:30 or 10 p.m. because many of the students are working, so they can't attend classes during daytime. That's why we schedule classes at night. And classes are on alternative days. Duration of class is around one to one and a half hour, depending upon the topic. Recordings are there. If you can't attend classes live, then you can go through recordings. And if you have any doubt or any query in any of the topic, you can just ask your doubts 24/7. We have dedicated WhatsApp group. Uh, you can ask your respective teacher regarding the, any doubt. Okay. After every class, you get a customized topic-wise assignment which contain all important questions, all past year questions related to that particular topic. You can go through that assignment. If you have any doubt or any query, even apart from that particular assignment, you can ask all those queries also. Apart from these assignments, your live classes recording, we have full length and topic-wise mocks also. just to check your preparation whether what you have covered in your class what you have covered in your assignments whether you are able to crack all those question in mock atmosphere also and all topics we start from scratch because many students are there who are taking this exam after 4 to 5 years or 3 years uh, your work ex okay so they are uh, not in touch with study so we are going to take each and every chapter from scratch and uh, we are taking this course from uh, 2017 so we are the oldest one in this domain 70 plus students have uh, cleared their written exam from our course in last 4 to 5 years so if you are interested you can just go to comment section or you you can check all details in the description below and this is our whatsapp number you can also check uh, you can also ping us if you have any query or any doubt related to our course but even if you are not taking any course uh, you are preparing yourself i must su suggest you to start your basics right now because once you are able to uh, cover all the basic uske baad aap exam level questions or higher level questions par 
मूव ऑन कर सकते हो ठीक है तो आई गेस वॉट वट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू स्टार्ट योर प्रेपरेशन दैट इज मोर देन अनफ वी हैव कवर्ड इन द सेशन बट इफ स्टिल यू हैव एनी क्वारी और एनी डाउट रिलेटेड टू योर पी जी डी एग्जाम व्हाट्सएप नंबर मैंने आपको दिया हुआ है यू कैन जस्ट कॉन्टैक्ट मी और यू कैन जस्ट व्हाट्सएप मी तो यू कैन आस योर डाउट्स और क्वारी रिलेटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम ओके तो आई होप दिस सेशन वॉज वेरी यूजफुल टू यू इफ यू हैव एनी सजेशन फॉर एस यू कैन ऑल्सो सेंड योर फीडबैक्स थैंक यू सो मच